Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. My sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. Sorry for the glitter. One thing I want you to know is people who are telling you that God cannot speak to you with a, an audible voice or that he cannot speak to you with his voice, what they're saying to you is that they can't speak. He, God can't speak to them because their God is the universe. Amen. They actually, if we dissect their thinking, they actually look at God as uh, the universe. Okay. And they look at, they say, oh, God can speak to you through pictures and signs and situations. Um, so what they're saying is the universe, okay, can speak to you through signs, pictures, and uh, situations because they believe in horoscopes and they believe in all of the zodiacs and all of that stuff. Um, that's what they put their influence and their trust and all of the, the spiritual wisdom that God has naturally given them. They're choosing to give that energy. Now, we have the Spirit of God. We were filled with the Holy Ghost. We were born of the water and of the Spirit, baptized in the Holy Ghost and with fire. Me, it happened at age 13. <clears throat> I'm 37 now, so I've seen a lot. Okay? I've seen a whole lot of what God can do and the difference between the unlimitedness of what God can do and the limitations of what man tries to do. Okay? So, man's blessings and thinking is monetary. So, if he can't see it, he doesn't believe it. Okay? So, let's go ahead and talk about how to pray for them. This is what you pray for people who say that God cannot speak to you. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice, a stranger that they will not follow. Um, the word became flesh, the word. Okay? The, the main way that God does speak to us as his children is through his voice. Okay? Now, the way to pray for them is you have to pray for God to change their desires from things that are monetary or physical to things that are spiritual. We desire what? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, temperance, faith, goodness. Why? Because we want to be just like our Father. We want to uh, be able to resemble Him, not be like the Most High, like Satan, whereas in I'll have a high seat, but I'll have the, the characteristics, the love, the humility of God. I mean, because God is love. God is not the author of confusion, but he is the author of peace. We want to be what peacemakers. They are the sons of God. See, we read the Bible because God does speak to us through his word. And he reminds us of his word through speaking to us. He'll say, hey, first Corinthians and we'll hear it. We'll go to the scripture. First Corinthians 13. He'll say, hey, Romans chapter seven. We'll go there and we'll read it. Amen. So that this is how you, like I said, the way that you pray for people who say God cannot speak to you. Because I remember, um, what's his name? Adam James. He says, oh, God can't speak to you in an audible voice. His father heard God speak to him the same way that said God spoke to Samuel. Called his name so loud that he hid up under his bed. It scared him. Amen. So people who are, who are talking like that, they are reprobates. They have their mind set on monetary, physical things, which is the reason why they cannot reach us. Um, they're not allowed around us. They can't touch us because they have their mind set on what? Monetary things, physical things. So this is what you pray for them. You say, Father, I need you to touch my brother or my sister, and I need you to speak to them. Just one time. That's all it takes. It's just one time for them to wake up and say, wow, that was him. But how many times do we sit there and pray and pray and fast and pray and fast and pray and ask to hear from the from the voice of of God, hear from the voice, hear of the voice of God, and it and it happens in some church service when we're while wow, we're speaking in tongues, while wow, we're praying and crying and, and 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 groaning in the spirit. Amen. So sometimes it's not going to happen until we get them out of their comfort zone around us, around the believers, get them in a church service. And then they'll say, oh, yeah, he can speak. OK. And then he'll begin to speak more and more to them. So that's how you pray for them. You say, Lord, I need you to touch my brother and my sister. Speak to them.
because that's the only way that it's going to happen uh, for them to be delivered from that because the devil will continue. See, the devil speaks faster and faster. The less you can hear God, the more he speaks to you. So you'll be thinking it's just you. You'll be thinking it's the universe. You'll be thinking it's the seven gods and goddesses. You'll be thinking it's somebody else and it is Lucifer. It is Satan. And you need to understand that just because there are spirits that live here, they are nothing but people of the dead. They are nothing but ancient spirits, okay, that moved on. It does not mean, and even an angel, it does not mean that they love you, okay? So be careful about listening to spirits because they can they can change form and they can show you who they really are. The only one you are allowed to trust, the only voice you are supposed to be trusting is God. Just because the devil sent you a sign or an, a mirage or an image, it does not mean that you run after it because you like money. You need to be careful. You need to be prayerful. And those of you who said that God cannot speak in an audible voice, it means you're lost. You need to be careful with that, okay? We all have voice recognition. All of us do. And if you can't hear from him, it's because you are chasing after the wrong God. Wake up. Don't be a dummy.